Founded in 1852, the Vancouver School District is older than the city itself and the state of Washington. The first school, Salmon Creek, was founded a year later by Hester Goddard. The first permanent school building was built at Salmon Creek in 1855, a 12 by 14 log cabin. In 1882, Vancouver voters overwhelmingly decided to build the Central School on 13th and Franklin. It cost $22,000. The Harney School followed in 1890 with different doors for boys and girls. Vancouver's first brick schoolhouse, Amata Elementary School, was built in 1910. In 1913, public support of schools in Vancouver continued as voters approved a $100,000 bond to build Vancouver High School on the corner of 26th and Main. Its first graduating class had 44 students. In 1929, Vancouver became just the second district in Washington to build a junior high, Shumway. That building is now the Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. A major movement for the sports fans in 1933, the Kiggins Bowl was built. World War II arrived suddenly for the U.S. and so did an influx of families to Vancouver as the Kaiser shipyards brought workers in from all over the country. Enrollment nearly doubled and before the end of the war, seven new schools were up and running. The boom continued through the 50s as Hudson's Bay became Vancouver's second high school and Vancouver High School was renamed Fort Vancouver High. In 1972, disaster struck when a tornado blew the roof off Ogden Elementary. 90 students and three staff members were sent to the hospital. It's tough to believe it was this long ago, but the digital age arrived in Vancouver in 1983 with the addition of the district's first computers. From the dawn of the digital age right into the space age in 2010, former Hudson's Bay teacher Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger blasted off on a NASA spacecraft and worked on the International Space Station. It's truly a fitting metaphor as the district looks to launch into the future.